people always told me it's important to be yourself. And that's what I did. Until they found out I was gay. I mean, before anyone knew, nobody questioned my relationship to them in their life. I was a son, a brother, a friend. I was just me. Suddenly, I was outcasted and defined as the ultimate sinner because in their eyes, who I love changed how I love. When I was 15, I went to church camp and I kissed my first boy. That's when I realized I was different. Over time, these feelings began to suffocate me and I, I couldn't tell people who I really was because it went against their beliefs. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I told my mom. She was the first person I came out to. I'll never forget how she stared at me for the longest time with this disappointed expression on her face. And she said, I'm going to pray for you and we'll get through this together. Those words never sounded so hateful. When my church found out, they told me they didn't want me there anymore. You would think during this time your family would be there to love you and support you. But instead I was outcasted, ridiculed, criticized, and judged for something I had no control over. I was hurt after the total rejection from my church that once empowered me. It shook my faith in God. And yet, I felt a sense of relief in coming out. I realized that my identity wasn't just that I was gay. It was that I was also a child of God. And I find myself in him first. It took some time, but I learned that family doesn't have to be just your blood relatives. A support group or even a friend can be your family. I decided to continue to pursue my faith and to go towards ministry. To share my truth to others who needed a voice like me. We're not close like we used to be. But my mom's gotten past trying to pray the gay out of me. Some things we just don't talk about, like religion. But I'm hopeful for the future. I know I'm loved by her and by God. That's the important part. I don't hate my former church community. I have nothing but love to give. But likewise, I will always be praying for them.